Dudes, Tib here, Tib Bourbon. Mitsubishi Charisma, I've had this a while now. Quite a few videos of it on my, on my channel, um, doing the crawling. I bought this for £220, ready to run. And to be honest, my first impressions are that for £220, I don't actually think it was, was that good. When you compare it to my FTX Mortler, This one, which is only £160 out the box, and the Christmas performance don't come anywhere near the Marla. But when I get a new car out the box, what I like to do before I start playing around with it, I like to put a few videos up of it in its total standard form, and people can see, or anyone thinking about buying one, obviously they can see what it can do and what it can't do. When I buy a car, that's that's what I like to see. I like to see the standard car as it comes to see how it performs before it's messed with. So, the main issues I found with this car. Number one, the tyres. These tyres um, are rubbish. They, they, they've just got no grip. Quite hard rubber. Um, and straight away, when I started taking this car out I, I didn't like these tyres they just remind me of something that you would get off eBay from China some cheap ones another problem that um, I noticed was this bumper it gets caught that easy when you when you try and crawl up some it you know very often this, this bumper hits hits whatever you're trying to get up um, there's just not enough clearance so they, they were a couple of things that I didn't like. Having said that, I think it's not a bad car to build on. Um, for that reason, I should... So something that I do like about the car is, is the shockers. And these shockers are quite nice, big shockers, front and back. Um, metal, or they certainly feel like metal. So there, that, that's a good point I do like. Another good point, what I like about it, if I turn it over, is these centre drive shafts are metal, they're not plastic. So obviously they're going to be a lot stronger. Just while I, I remember, another point which I didn't like too much about this car is this clearance here. There's just not that much clearance. So it, it quite easily gets stuck on uh, on edges. So it's time to make a few little changes. See if I can uh, improve it. So if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I have uh, a Traxxas TRX4. And I think the, the wheels and tyres on that Traxxas are absolutely fantastic. The grip on them is brilliant. And what I have to say is that as those tyres are getting worn in and used more, they seem to be getting better. So they're better now than they were when I first got it. So I decided that I would buy another set of Traxxas TRX4 wheels. And that is the first mod that I'm going to do on this car. So I've put the Traxxas tyres on, the Traxxas wheels on, on this car. And immediately what you can see is that the original tyres are actually quite a bit smaller. I'll try and get the camera in to show you. See the, the difference in, in tyre size there. So because of that, obviously what's going to happen is we're going to catch here. You know, there's very little movement to, uh, to allow for that. Now I can over overcome that, that issue quite easily because another good point about this are uh, the posts that the shell sits on as you can see if I try and get in it's quite a nice sturdy post and there's plenty of uh, room for adjustment on the front ones and the back ones as you can see so all I'm going to do I'm just going to lift the post up and obviously that will raise the shell 
So what I've done, I've adjusted these shell um, seats, stems, pegs, whatever you want to call them. These front ones, I've just lifted up one notch. And these back ones, I've lifted up two notches. Now as I sit back, on there now, you can see there's a lot more, lot more space here. And I think that that'll do the trick. If it doesn't, um, obviously I'll just lift it up a little bit more. But I think I think that will probably do the trick there. I'm happy with that. Now my next alteration I'm going to do is this bumper. Like I said before, I find that it's it's quite quite low. It, there's not a lot of clearance when you're actually using the car. Obviously I've put bigger wheels on. So that's going to lift it up a little bit, but what I'm going to do here is, I don't know if you can see this, but you can see where this part of the bumper fitting goes through into um, the little square there, and it's screwed in at the top. But if you look at this bottom bit, you can see that I should be able to lift it up and put that bit in here. And that, looking there, I reckon must bring it maybe 10 mil. So I'm just going to alter that. So I don't know if you can see now, but I've lifted that bumper up. So it was that part that was screwed in originally. But that's now above, and the bottom part is slotted in and screwed. And you can just about, by bending it a little bit, like so, get the two screws in, but that's lifted up a good 10mm I would say, at least, and obviously a bit higher because of the wheels, the bigger wheels as well. Now what I'm also going to do, I'm going to start running this on a 2S Lippo, um, my, my previous videos it's just been running on a standard 6L NIM battery, but on the ESC, it's just got this standard little little plug here that you move move along if you want NIM batteries. I'll put in this position the lipo batteries. So I've changed that, and I'm going to now run this on lipo. So you have it, dudes. That's the modifications I've done to my Charisma to try and make a bit of an improvement. So on my next crawling video, on my next trip out crawling, this will be the car that I'm, I'm going to take and hopefully I, I can see some improvement. So watch this space. <laughs> 